I'm Tickety with Questline Esports, and here's everything you need to know about D.Va. D.Va's passive is Eject. When her mech loses its HP, she will swap to her pilot form, which allows her to run around with significantly lower health, locks her out of her regular abilities, and changes her ultimate to the ability to call her mech back to the battlefield. Her primary fire, her fusion cannons, fire dual cannons with a shotgun-like spread at an automatic fire rate and no ammo requirement. D.Va will slow her movement speed while shooting, however, so these are best used when you've already closed the distance on your target. After ejecting, D.Va's primary fire shoots her light gun, which fires a fast-moving projectile. The light gun doesn't do much meaningful damage, but its quick fire rate and the fact that it doesn't suffer from falloff damage means that it's great for spamming at the enemy to regain your mech as quickly as possible. D.Va's secondary fire uses her defense matrix. Hold down this ability to destroy enemy projectiles in a cone in front of D.Va. This is an incredibly flexible defensive tool for keeping yourself or your allies safe from incoming fire. There are a few abilities that won't be blocked by the Matrix, such as beam-type weapons, but most other things in the game will be shut down completely. This includes things like bullets, projectile-based abilities, and even ultimates from characters like Zarya and Mei. Defense Matrix is gated by a resource meter that regenerates automatically over time after a short delay of not holding the Matrix up. When this meter is full, D.Va can block incoming fire for up to 3 full seconds, but keep in mind she can't use her primary fire while holding the Matrix. Her first ability is her boosters. You'll launch yourself forward for up to 2 seconds with the ability to change direction based on moving your camera. This ability can be used alongside all your other abilities as well as your primary fire to add movement flexibility to those abilities. If you fly the mech into enemies, they will take damage and be knocked back slightly, but this can only happen once per cast per enemy. The flexibility and short cooldown of this ability makes D.Va one of the strongest tanks in the game at responding to situations around her. The ability to fly in any direction can ensure you can keep up with even the slipperiest of enemies. Her second ability fires her micro-missiles. You'll shoot a volley of explosive rockets forward that will damage enemies and cause a small amount of splash damage. Despite sounding somewhat deadly, these don't offer too much burst damage, so don't expect to be one-shotting too many targets unless they've found themselves in a particularly vulnerable position. D.Va's ultimate is called Self-Destruct. She will initiate a self-destruct sequence in her mech, which after a short delay will deal massive damage to nearby enemies. This can be used alongside her boosters to launch the bomb through the air. While this is incredibly damaging, the delay before detonation means enemies will likely have a chance to run for cover or use their defensive abilities to survive it. Also, while the explosion has a decent radius around it, it will do more damage the closer the enemies are to the mech itself, so tankier enemies will survive being hit by the detonation if there's enough distance between them and the center of the explosion. After casting self-destruct, Diva will be left in her pilot form, but will generate a full charge of her secondary ultimate, Call Mech, immediately after the mech itself explodes, meaning you'll be able to call your mech back and jump right back into the action. D.Va is best played as an enabler, meaning she doesn't make too many aggressive plays herself, but she'll be looking to influence the plays around her. D.Va doesn't have many strict positioning rules since her mobility is so strong, so instead, when a fight's about to break out, think about what positions the enemies might take and how you can get in their face to shut them down. As your coach, I'd recommend you play very reactive as D.Va. It's tempting to get the fight started by boosting into the first enemy you see, but D.Va's strengths lie in influencing ongoing fights, not starting them herself. Try to react to enemy cooldown usage and commitments by getting between them and your teammates, and shutting down their plans with a good defense matrix. It's also very tempting to look for big bomb plays with your ultimate, but they'll become increasingly rare the more aware your opponents become. In order to get the most value from your self-destruct, you'll want to catch players without as many options, so try using it after you see them use specific movement or defensive cooldowns, where they'll be less likely to have an easy option to escape the explosion. Now go pop a nano cola and show your team just how high your APM goes.